Well hello to you all, Guy Watson here, Bognor Regis Bonsai. Now this next tree I'll be working on, I actually call it my Marmite tree because you either love it or you hate it. It's an eastern white cedar, a thuya, arbor vitae, call it what you like. But coming up in a couple of months we have a cascade competition in the Chichester and District Bonsai Society and I'm thinking this might do. So I'll be repotting this probably tomorrow. Today's the 25th of May. Getting towards the end of time for repotting but I will have a go at repotting this tomorrow. And um, we shall see what it comes out like. Right, cheerio for now. Well hello again. Oh, I don't know what happened yesterday, either as me being a progressive sort of chap and thinking to the future, or just being me just being a simple klutz, but today is actually the 20th, uh, Tuesday the 17th of May. So, we've lost nine days since yesterday, but I'll put that down to me being a klutz, I think. Right, let's see about getting this thing out. I'm not sure what I'm going to find in here. This is only a terracotta pot. It's what I, all I could have at the find at the time. Here she comes. do because it's no use keeping this terracotta pot because it's smashed. I'm going to get a hammer and smash it. Right, going to be much safer for the tree. Back in a minute. Right, here we are, arm to the teeth. Right, I think it's going to be much the simpler way. Then. It still doesn't want to come out. Let's break off the other side. Right, there we go. She's out. the concrete block I said was in there. In fact, this good grief. And no, oh, that's not sandstone, that's concrete, cement block. No wonder this was heavy. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Good heavens above. cement blocks everywhere. We're looking at the state of these roots and the amount of growth there. I don't think I'm going to take much off these. I think that would be a wrong thing to do. Right. 
we clear this up, then we'll get the new pot out. Right, here we are again. Now then, let's have a look at this. Well, I want to have that cascading over the front here, a bit like that. I'm going to have to put some soil in here first. Quite a lot of it, I think. Right, now we're looking more like it. That's how it'll be. So let's see about tying this in, in this position. Now I'll put a block in later on to hold it as well. Because this is a quite top heavy tree, what I'm using for tie it in is actually what they call fence wire. Two millimetre fence wire and it's tough stuff. Right, let's put some more soil around. that as a chopstick because once again I haven't got that with me. this tree up. Chop this bit of excess wire off. Fill up with soil. Now hopefully this will be the last repot of the year for me. Might do a slip pot, but the last major repot. Let's see, 17th of May is getting towards the end of time for repotting in the UK. Right. I think it's repotted. Oh, another lump of cement. I know my. I will go and get my turntable just to give you a quick 360. And I did actually also find the old faithful chopstick, so I can give that a quick poke through. Just make sure we have got all the roots covered. It doesn't feel too bad at all. Right then, here we go, there's the front, 
coming around to the side, round to the back, and back round to the front again. I know it's not a conventional way of displaying an eastern white cedar, but it was something I wanted when I started bonsai about five and a half, six years ago. Went to the local garden centre come DIY shop, saw this hedging plant for a very cheap price, and I thought I can bend that over and make it into a cascade. That's what I did. And so after about five years now it's been wired and rewired and rewired again. It is actually cascading now. Fairly sturdy in the pot. So as I was saying, you either love it or you hate it. It's my Marmite tree. So thanks very much. See you soon.